And here are my surroundings. This is Abby, she's gonna be recording me. <laughs> Getting new clothing can be super fun and exciting, but many people don't know where their clothing is coming from. There are multiple steps in the process of making cloth clothing items and getting them to the market for consumers. Not many people realize that this process is a strong contributor to the pollution in our planet. Today I will be talking to you about the struggles of fast fashion and the effects it has on our environment. First, let me tell you a little bit about what fast fashion actually is. Fast fashion is the process of designing, manufacturing, and marketing high volumes of clothing. So in other words, lower quality materials are being put together to create garment fashion trend for garment fashion trends and to bring inexpensive styles to the public. Companies have been creating clothing that looks similar to runway designs, but in a quicker, cheaper way to allow the public to wear the trend while it's still popular. The production of fast fashion slowly began in the 1960s. Young people used clothing as an expression and would, would create their cl own clothing. People began to mimic each other's trends. As years passed, technology began to evolve, making it possible to order clothing online. Retailers like H&M, Zara, and Topshop took over brands' looks and designs from top fashion houses to recreate them quickly and affordably. Now that you kind of get an understanding of fast fashion, let me tell you about the negative effects of fast, the, fast fa the fast fashion production process has on our planet. Businesses have so much pressure to make the clothing quickly. A quote from the article, What is Fast Fashion stated, the constant speed and demand means there is also increasing stress on our other environmental concerns, such as land clearing, biodiversity, and soil quality. The processing of leather also impacts the environment with 300 kilograms of chemicals being added to every 900 kilograms of animals hides tan. Due to clothes being made quickly, it also means consumers dispose their clothes because they're, they're no longer in style. This causes a huge amount of textile waste. Production is done in factories. Garment workers work in dangerous environments for very low wages. They are surrounded by toxic chemicals all day and these could, chemicals could impact their health. Not only is fast fashion hurting the environment and people, it also hurts animals. Toxic dyes are released in waterways and ingested by ocean life. What is fast fashion stated? Numerous scandals revealed that, uh, reveal that real fur, including cat and dog fur, is often being passed as faux fur to unknowing shoppers. Now that you understand some of the harmful effects fast fashion has on our planet, you may be thinking, what can I do? First is buy less. You may be thinking, oh, these cute jackets, I need them all. But you really don't need that extra jacket. The Patagonia's chief product officer Lisa Williams stated the most environmentally sustainable jacket is the one that's already in your closet another thing you can do is buy better quality if you do that you will push brands to improve the quality of their garments another thing you can do is to try to um, repair your damaged clothing sew up those holes or maybe you can donate them to thrift stores or donate them to your friends and families or you can resell your clothing lastly the smartest and best thing to do is put your, if you really don't want those clothing, put them into a textile recycling bin. There are multiple around the world that people don't even realize about it. I've only listed a couple, but as you, a couple things that you can do to help stop fast fashion, but as you can see, there are many ways to help stop the production. But it will only start if people begin to do their part. Fast fashion brands are damaging our earth and polluting the air. More people need to be aware of this problem and start making a change. And that change begins with us.